Fiesta Chevrolet and Eagle Eagles Road. He's fighting for some money, guys. He needs to make some money, guys. Sharp Sh and Josh Sharpless is 0 and 5. Josh Sharpless goes for a takedown. Oh, and Josh taking down the wrestler. Nice. Oh, no control yet. Crazy scramble. We're scrambling right now, guys. Fighting for control. They're standing back up. Good knee. Good knee from Eli. Sharpless being persistent. Yes, sir. Eli's working the clinch. Good knee, good knee, good knee, good hook. Josh is, Josh is still defending. Been working his boxing. He's showing his boxing is really well. And these guys need to calm down right now. The adrenaline is flowing. It is pro debut. Pro debut oh, by Eli. Got a head kick. Nice head kick by Eli. I heard, I heard the thump. I heard the thump. And he's this is his world. What Sharpless needs to do, he's need to get he's need to, he needs to get out of this position. He is in his maybe, in Eli's world right now. Maybe use the cage, try to get off, because he's in a bad position. He's almost mounted right now. Good scramble, but he's giving him his back. That is also a bad this is a very familiar spot for Eli. Eli what? has control right now. Yeah, he's out the back. Josh Sharp is looking for a way out. Sharpless needs to stand up. He needs to stand up. But again, he is a purple belt in jiu-jitsu, so he can, what he can do is he can submit him. That is actually his specialty. So only time will tell as far as seeing the, the grappling experience. No, Josh is staying tough, man. He's staying tough, tough guy. He's getting hit pretty hard, and he's still in this fight. He's still scrambling. He has not given up. There's no quitting him. Eli got the hooks in. Got both hooks in, and he got the back. If he locks up that choke, this might be it. It could be very difficult going against a purple belt. Yes, sir. Trying to submit a purple belt. But there we go. Nice. Now he is on top. Nice reversal by Josh Sharpless. Sharpless on top. This is unfamiliar territory for a wrestler. Josh needs to stay on top and keep the position, oh, the position over submission. No he can't do anything. Like, no wrestlers like to be on their back. So who knows what's going through Eli's head right now. If he's a uh, fight or flight right now, fight for fight or flight. Oh, he's going for an armbar. I don't know if that's what he's gonna want to do against a jujitsu specialist. He's gotta he gotta keep it in his trying to get up. And they're now they're up. standing up. And they're back up. All right. Eli has a huge reach. Reach. He is six foot, standing at six foot five. So the reach is a huge problem. What Sharp is going to need to do? He's going to need to to. Oh, he's going for. He's got a takedown. Good, good round for Sharpless, but. A now Eli's. Uh, now Josh Sharpless. He's thirty six years old. He's zero five. He's looking for that first win. And his wife is his motivation, uh, Carrie Joe, and his unborn son, Jericho. Awesome. That's perfect motivation. Josh is working that takedown again. Eli is defending against the cage, but we'll see where it goes. He's pushing his head down, which is, which is good wrestling. Good balance from him. I don't know if, if that's what he's going to want to do, uh, Sharpless. He might need to try a different strategy. He might need to go for another takedown, turn for a single leg. He's got it. He's got it locked in oh, the back. He he's gonna have to lift him up. He needs to lift him up. And it, yep, he's got the takedown. Great takedown. Good. He's climbing up. He's climbing on Eli. What Eli needs to do is he needs to stand up. In order to keep staying in this fight, he needs to stand up and not be on his back and try to play submission with a purple belt. Right now he's in a good position, but. Eli was out. Was able to power out of that arm triangle. He needs to maybe shrimp out because he's going to get tagged. Josh is a strong guy. He cannot. He cannot stay in this position. This is a bad position for Eli. He's in a bad position. He's giving his back now. He needs to be active and he needs to to, to get up. Full mount is very dangerous. Time, time. The referee calls time due to blood. There's a lot of blood everywhere. A lot of blood. It's even on us, bro. <laughs> Yeah, we, we actually got sprayed here with blood. Yeah, sprayed with blood. All right, the doctor clears it. 
The doctor actually clears it exactly where that cut is, but it's gushing blood right now. I believe it might be on the eyebrow or close to the nose. He lies in a bad position, and both of them are just rested right now. Josh Harplett is on top, and he's well rested. This is a bad position to be mounted by a purple belt who has seven years. He's going for an armbar. Oh, he's gushing blood. He's in this armbar. He's going to need to get out of this armbar. He needs he's, to kick off the butt off of this armbar. He's in a real bad position. He's oh, out. He's, uh, he's out. He's spraying blood right now. Spraying blood right now. He's fighting. He's spraying blood. He's showing what a warrior is pretty... They are slipping and sliding all over the blood. This is the bloodiest fight I've ever seen. Slipping and sliding due to blood. Now he's ground and pounding. Now he's getting back into the fight. Right now I would say Sharpless is winning this round right now. Just because of damage and positioning alone. But very hard for them to do anything with all this blood. And this is in his guard. Uh, it's kind of dangerous to be in a purple belt's guard. Now I should keep in mind that Eli's... Eli's uh, Urbina's conditioning should be better because uh, Sharpless took this fight on two weeks notice and right now he's showing to be the better conditioned fighter at this time but Eli is still in there Eli's not Eli's tough man Eli's a tough guy he's hurt to, he's oh oh he may be finishing him he may be finishing him oh and the time runs out nice Lucky for Sharpless, he was able to get out. He was in a bad position, in a position you don't want to be. You do not want to be under a wrestler. Hi, guys. Here we go. Here we go. The Gracie Baja student with you, with the teacher, nice with the you. teacher, um, Frank Trevino, UFC, uh, a MMA superstar. Eli defending the takedown. I'm very impressed with Josh Sharpless, man. This guy's cardio is pretty dang good for a two weeks' notice. He keeps, he's, he's going after that takedown, and he's got it again. Yes, he told me that he loves to fight, that, that he hates training, he hates cutting, but he loves to fight, and that's the only reason why he does it. And he's showing here that he, he really does love to fight. Yeah, man, dude, both fighters are showing tremendous heart. One's gut, gushing blood, the other one's t tired, fatigued, and been getting hit with some major shots, but these, both of these fighters are both in this fight, man. This is actually a grappling war, a purple belt versus a state medalist, a wrestling state medalist uh, in Eli Arena. So both of them have many years in grappling. So it, it's to me, it looks like a war of attrition and a war of grappling. Who, who's a better grappler on the floor? Right now, Eli has the back. If he keeps control, this might, might win him the fight. But Josh is still in this good knees to the body, good knees to the body. Josh needs to get out. He's in bad position, and he's getting even worse position. To me, it seems... Whoever is on top is the one winning the fight. When when Sharpless is on top, he's winning the fight impressively. When Eli's on top, he's winning the fight impressively. So it's whoever can stay on top. Who won't quit? Who will stay? Who will keep the position, the dominant position? Would you agree? Yes, sir. Both of them. It's back and forth battle. Whoever, exactly how you said it. Whoever has the uh, top position is pretty much winning this fight. And right now, Eli has the top position. But Josh is back in it. Oh. Eli, it looks like Josh's uh, hand, his right arm, is, it, it looked like it was caught, but it's out now. Eli's trying to soften him up a little bit, maybe get him distracted from his choke. Now, Sharpless's neck is exposed. He needs to, 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 to bring his chin down. Eli's going to, what he's going to need to do is maintain position and do ground and pound in order to win this fight because when he tries to jujitsu with the jujitsu specialist, that's when the jujitsu specialist reverses him. Yeah, there's no way he's going to want to go and fight jiu-jitsu with a jiu-jitsu spe specialist good good, good elbows. elbows he's keeping in this round so far eli is winning this round i i would hate to call this fight because it's such a close fight both guys showing lots of heart both guys in this fight wanting to win who would you say is winning this fight at this point to tell you the truth bro, i don't know i would have to give it a draw man both these guys are have had have some big moments in this fight both fighters man And that's the end of the fight. Huge, Huge good fight, fight, guys. That was a fantastic fight. By unanimous decision, from West Laco, Texas, the Huge, huge win for the...